Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I'm going to talk to you about something I have never done before and that is send out my fountain pens to get some nib work done. I went with the Nibsmith and to start off, um, I wasn't very happy with much of like the customer service portion or aspect of this whole service here. Uh, what happened is that I have been looking at Nibsmith for a while, for almost a year, and I would see throughout the year that either he'll have work options available or he won't. And once when COVID-19 started, I realized, oh, this may be a good opportunity to send my products into the Nibsmith. So I looked him up. I realized that the wait time was two weeks and I was like, this is amazing. So I waited just a little bit until I had the funds to do this. And then I, I checked back in a couple weeks. It was still at two weeks. So I went ahead, went online, filled out the form, sent in my products. That was in May, uh, mid-May. Um, the return date time, uh, turn back time, they said would be approximately two weeks, give or take. Could be earlier, could be a little bit later. So I was like, okay, I can handle two weeks. Little did I know that it would take about two, two months nearly. It's July 23rd and I just now received my postage. So, um, yeah, so I would say that's the biggest problem I had I contacted him twice and just asking about the status of my pens in hopes that um, he didn't forget about them that was also something said on his email if you don't hear back from me in the time frame that you sent your product in to send him an email to like kind of remind him just in case and I did that and um, the first time he pretty much told me give him two more weeks. I contacted him after those two weeks. Then he said it was really short. He was like, sorry, I haven't even started on your products yet. Um, I'm doing the best I can. And that was it. Um, so that was, I mean, I'm glad he responded. It was, his responses were very quick, but at the same time, it was kind of um, frustrating that I had to reach out more than once. There was no emails or notifications about, oh, this is going to take longer um, or anything like that. And it, so, yeah, um, I'm not sure if anyone else has experienced this with the Nibsmith. I mean, I understand if you get swamped, but at the same time, this is something that I think this is something that you offer. It's a service you offer so you can turn it on, turn it off when you are, you know, more available or when you have more time. And yeah, so I, that was the only like really disappointing part. I was kind of nervous to even send another email after my second email, kind of worried that I would, um, there would be some retaliation, like he would mess up on my products or something like that. I don't know. But Anyway, enough complaining. I, I, I don't want to be like really rude, but I do want to be transparent with you guys to say that that was probably something I would rate as like a one or a two when it comes to like that por that portion of the process. So my product is here and it shipped fast, but that's because I picked priority mail. And this is, well, this is, actually, this is a new box. I did send mine in a box just similar to this. And he sent it right back in a very similar box. So, let's see if I can open this. He included one of these vinyl sticker, which is cool. And this box is what I sent him. I sent both of my products in here because they're pens and I felt like this would be enough cushion and I also put them in my Franklin Kristoff pouches. So I got those back, which is good. 
Okay, so the two pens I sent to him were a Y Studio fountain pen, and I also sent a Esther Book fountain pen to him. So both of them were over like $70. I got both of them from Pen Chalet. I've been buying pens from Pen Chalet for quite a while. It's not always a hit and miss. I mean, most of the time my pens have been perfectly fine, but in these two instances they weren't and they just did not write as nice as, as I expected them to. So I felt like these would be a great opportunity for me to send out to a nib smith to get just a regular nib tuning smoothing uh, from them. I didn't need to get anything special. They do offer like custom grind work where you can get stubs, you can round your nib, you can get anywhere from an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, depending on the type of fountain pen you send in. So I just got the very basic and there was one other time where I ordered from the Nibsmith a fountain pen because they do sell fountain pens on their website and you can actually get these grinds done with a brand new pen before you receive your pen. So I had done that one time with the Caveco Sport and I know sometimes Cavecos can be hit or miss and one time before I did get one that was terrible so I was nervous about getting another one that was going to be terrible and I went with him and got a a smoothing um, customization on the on my nibs so it was just to make sure that it wrote well it was nice and smooth and um and it was well tuned so when I got that pen I was completely amazed and um, shocked. Okay, so this video is getting quite quite long. Um, sorry about that. I just, but I want to do like just kind of a show of the pens, and I'm hoping that they will write how I want them, and that I did not get back <laughs> the same exact pen that I sent out. <laughs> well, I want to make sure I get my pen right. So these look good. I'm going to ink them up and then I'm going to do a pen test. So these are both fine nibs. Um, and again, I just asked for a tune and smooth so that I can write with them. Like, yeah, that's all I really wanted. Um, so let me ink them up and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the inks I've used is Classic Platinum, and this is in the sepia black. And then, of course, I need to have a pen that has black ink in it. So I have the Carbon Platinum Black ink, and I put the black ink in my Esther book, and then I put the sepia black into my Y Studio. Now, when you do fill out the form, he does ask questions and he asks exactly what kind of nib work you want done. So for both of them, I selected Tune and Smooth. What pen are you sending? For the Y Studio, I put Y Studio Resin in red and he asked, describe any issues you're experiencing. So I told him this is a brand new pen. It wouldn't write out of the box. I would like to this to be smooth nib with a hint of feedback and for the flow to be very wet. For my Estrabook SC, SE Blueberry Gold with the fine nib, I asked that, um, I told him that the pen is scratchy and required extra pressure when writing. I would like there to be a smooth nib with a bit of feedback and the flow to be very wet if possible. So let's see if that's what I got. Both of them could not write very well whatsoever and um, 
hopefully they'll be able to at least write. Right? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off with the Esther book SD first. And fingers crossed it works. Oh, that was a hard start, but... Yes. This writes really nice. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm so happy. And exactly how I like it. I do feel a little bit of feedback with it. Maybe you can hear that. And it has a thick line to it, which I'm okay with. Yep, and it's keeping up, no skipping. All right, this is a win. Now I'm really excited. Literally, when I bought this pen, I could not write with it. I, I really couldn't write with it. I couldn't stand the way it was so scratchy. Okay, so Y Studio in the resin, this is like a pretty new pen. Let's see. Okay, these are both fine. Both fine nibs. Uh, it's a little... It's a little bit scratchy on just a tad bit. Maybe I just need to kind of turn my hand in a different direction slightly. Make some subtle adjustments. But definitely writes a lot better than it did. Yeah, I think it was just the way I was holding it. I'm not so sure about this color. It kind of looks like a poopy green to me. A poopy green. But I do like a sense of feedback and not for my pen to just glide without feeling like I can control it. And I feel that with both of these. So again, this is the sepia black. And on camera, it's catching it pretty accurately. It's not the prettiest brown. It looks like there's a hint of green to it. And then, of course, my favorite ink, which is... Platinum Carbon. Black. All right, so overall, I'm pretty happy that I can now write with it. This one, I might have to make 
maybe just a little bit of adjustment. Maybe it's just the feed. I don't know. I have to play with this one just a little bit more, but they both write like uh, almost 100% better, pretty much. It writes, it writes, right? And um, I can use them now. I'm not afraid to use them. In fact, I'm probably going to journal right after this and use them and try to find that sweet spot with both of them. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are not a very impatient person like I am, then Nib Smith may be your way to go. I think um, for me, I might try to look for someone else. If you guys have any other suggestions as to other Nib Smiths, Nib Meisters, I keep thinking Nib Smith, Nib Meisters out there, please put them in the comments below. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.